we are making what Jamaicans call fish tea, which is really a fish soup. But they consider it fish tea because it's a light soup. When you make soup, it's like a stew, it's so heavy. That I, th I think that's why they say fish tea, because it's not a heavy soup. And um, usually we use fish that's inexpensive and um, for making this fish tea. But you can use any fish, even the most expensive. <laughs> Today I'm using snapper. And I'm going to use two snapper. I'm going to... I fillet it, or filleted, and I'm going to use the head and the bones to make a stock before I put the rest of the stuff in. So that's where we're going to be going right now. Now I'm going to show you how to fillet a fish. You need a sharp knife. Go down the sides, both sides. Now keep the knife, the blade of the knife on the bone as you go along so that you don't lose too much of the flesh of the fish. Now I'm going to make a stock for the soup with the bones and the head. I've got about four cups of water here to start with. And when I'll give this about 15 minutes. And then I remove the head and the bones. I've got some stock here from the bones and I'm removing the bones. The head. And then I'm going to strain the rest to get just in case there's any bone in there. So I just made a little stock by boiling the bones and the fish head in a few cups of water. And I'll be adding four more cups of water to start with. And I like to get the water from the kettle. Don't have to wait too long for it to boil. Three green bananas. I'm going to add the other one after, but I'm going to show you how to peel it. And one squash, one chocho, and one carrot. I'll add that. This is how you peel the green banana. When you're eating a ripe banana, you peel it down and you see it comes down in section. But when it's green, you cannot remove it like that. You got to core it along those ridges. And then you lift it up. Usually come off quite easily. This is the chocho peel. Now I'm gonna cut it and and, and in two and then slice it. Slice it. But first you got to move the middle which really is the seed of the, uh, the chayote. This is how I slice it. And I should mention, this is a quick soup. Fish tea. Shouldn't take forever. I'm going to let this come to a rapid boil. Now I'm going to add the onion and the um, red pepper and the green pepper and the green onion. Otherwise known as scallion to us. Salt and pepper to taste. Salt and pepper to taste. Of course we must have thyme. Fresh thyme. Some hot pepper sauce. Don't overdo it because you're going to put some scotch bonnet on the top for flavor. I'm going to add the scotch bonnet pepper, which I'm going to watch carefully because we don't want it to break or burst in there. So we just keep watching it. Here's my filet of fish, which I'm going to just lay on top. To finish it off, I added a good tablespoon of margarine. I use margarine, but butter is just as good or better. And leave it to simmer for a few minutes. And soup is ready. Fish tea is ready. <laughs> oh, this soup can be made in three quarters of an hour. Preparation time with the veggies, 15 minutes. Putting it together and simmering it, half an hour. When I was growing up, my mother used to use small, a small fish called sprat, which is something like a herring, but small. 
or another fish that looks like this. I don't know if a lot of people know it, but it was called um, Wenchman. It had a lot of bones, just good for making soup. I use this fish because of my foreign-born children. They couldn't cope with herring and sprat. They would not They would die with bones. So I use this that they can know that you can use any fish. Here we have our fish tea. And for the measurements and the recipe, Go to cook my, my website, Cook Like a Jamaican, and bon appetit. Now these heads, when I was a kid, we used to suck on them. But after a few years, I, you know, I'm a young girl still. <laughs> No, that's out of the picture now.